First, this is uh, historic, it's sort of groundbreaking for the city of Thunder Bay. Uh, I want to be a part of that. So when, when the opportunity came along, I thought, okay, uh, regardless of whether or not I ever want to pursue anything from an acting perspective in life, I need to be a part of it. It's historic, and I think that the city of Thunder Bay should be very proud that this is happening right here. Fine bear, Jackson. You feel like Indian food? I feel like Indian food. Let's get some Indian food. But this whole city, you've got a great variety of places you can film. You've got your outdoors, you've got your indoors. That's unique to Thunder Bay. No other city has indoors and outdoors. No, seriously. Thunder Bay is great. You've got great weather. You've got sunshine going from early morning, late at night in the summer. So you've got long filming days, better than those yucky, smog-filled places. So you know who I'm talking to. Spielberg, bring up E.T., redo it, do a sequel. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's tricky, like this is a difficult genre because what you're doing, you're going up against, the general audience looks at Hollywood, right? And they're, they're always gonna look at your product in relation to what they've seen before, which is usually Hollywood. So you're gonna take a low budget, no budget action movie Automatically, even instinctively, you know, you're just going to compare that to something you've seen before. Die Hard or Bad Boys or something like that. So, it's a tricky, it's a very tricky area to be in, you know, like, how are people going to receive it? I think they'll, you know, it's, it's got a good look and there's some good moments and some good things. It's not going to have the action that you'd have on a $300 million movie, but there's some things here that are pretty cool, you know, and but I think it'll be re well received. If people keep that mentality in mind, this was done with no money. You know, not 300 million, not 1 million, not even 300,000, not even 3,000 maybe. I don't know what the actual budget was, but it wasn't much. And we have so many locations that, with like beautiful scenery, I think that you can make lots of movies here and you have a talented people here too, so you wouldn't have to go far for any cast and crew, that's for sure. And I just think that more films should be done here, for sure. Awesome. Good. Making a big scene happen, you know? Thunder Bay is the greatest thing ever. And I hope it, I hope it draws more and more, because we need a new industry, and I think this is the industry that could be a really big future for Thunder Bay. Uh, I'm hoping it, it really draws attention to that fact that um, everybody is so willing in this in this community to help. Uh, it would be it's almost stupid that they don't come here and make movies. You know, when it comes to making motion pictures in Canada, what cities come to mind? Well, Toronto, Vancouver. How about? How about Thunder Bay? Yes. There are dozens of short films shot in the city, thanks to the film production program at Confederation College, but a recent graduate of the college program thinks there's an excellent opportunity to make a full-length film feature in the city. Rodney Guerra is a writer and producer of his uh, film project, a film project called Bay City. Good afternoon, Thunder Bay. I love you guys. Check this out. This is Bay City. This is the pitch. Two of Thunder Bay's top detectives are caught in a web of betrayals. Backstabbers while criminals scramble to get their hands on 100 million dollars in laundered funds. Canadian movie. All right, that's the movie. That's the, that's the pitch right there. What makes you think you can make a feature film like that? 